Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today, with another live replay commentary. This time from one Red Falcon, who's actually, according to his email, a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Army. Now, I'm not one to tell you how to play your games, Falcon, but... Aren't you supposed to be playing World of Tanks, being in the army and all that? But nonetheless, we're happy to see you here, and you guys are going to want to see this game. Now, as per usual with these live replay commentaries, I am unaware of what exactly happens in the game. I have an idea of what happens, so you will be getting my live in real-time reaction to whatever it is that transpires during this match. Now, to also be clear, apparently replays are bugged because what's an update in Wood Warships without a bug or two to follow? So, there is an enemy team. They're just not showing up on screen just yet because, again, it's bugged. The HUD is bugged. What's he fighting against? I couldn't tell you! <laughs> so, we'll all be very surprised together. Now, it does appear that he is in a Tier 9 game, so he's top tier. He's in the Fletcher which is a very nice um, American Destroyer. I played just about every Fletcher in the game except for the Fletcher because, well, we've got the Kid, the Black, uh, the Greek one, uh, was it Velos? Or whatever it is, I can't think of the name right now. I'm pretty sure it's Velos. That might be the uh, Light Cruiser. Okay, so there's a Cleveland here with uh, Zara in the back. Okay, so he's, he's doing a proper thing, getting stern to the cap, dumped his torpedoes at the torpedo gap. This is textbook uh, cap contesting DD behavior along with textbook American DD behavior. American DDs are very good at contesting caps. They have a very long duration smoke. You have the engine boost. They have a lot of DACA. Uh, and keep in mind, too, these are some of the older DDs in the game. They still hang in there quite well today, which is a testament to their design. So he's thinking about opening up on the Cleveland here, it seems. Um, does begin to open up on him with his... Without a smoke, just, you know, Giga Chad, open water gunboating American DDs. Now, American DDs are typically very, very good at about uh, mid-ish range. Once you start getting out to longer range, the, the shells hang in the air for forever. Red's done a very good job of what it looks like with his build here, because he's got about 12.9. Oh, Shores! Right into the Shiryatsuyu dwarves! Because <laughs> he's got about a 12.9 kilometer range there, and um, that's up, you know, about as far as you really want to push those American guns. Again, besides that, that they're in the air for five ever. So, they're down a Shores. Um, enemy team has both caps right now. I don't think any... Well, we can't check if anything on the enemy team's died yet. doesn't look like it, though. I'll try to keep an eye on the feed and keep us apprised of the situation. So he dumps a couple more torps at the Cleveland. Uh, the Shiratsu is also over there with the Cleveland as well. Looks like about an even split between the A and the C caps with his team right here. Um, middle is wide open, so that's bad. The enemy could go right down the middle and pretty much cut them off from one another. So, how are those torps doing? Looks like they missed the Cleveland, so they're definitely spotted, I would imagine. Don't think the Shiatsu is going to run right into them. Oh! Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Nice thread. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Fleet Nines now got the Seattle, but the Seattle got the Lil Yang before he went down. So, they're down two ships to the enemy's one ships. About a, dang, a 200 point lead already, not even five minutes into the game. Cleveland took a nasty hit there. I'm assuming from the Vladivostok. And he also has the Akatsuki the back. Akatsuki's being very timid. Red's the one that's um, <laughs> near the cap. And the Akatsuki's chilling back there with the Vladivostok for some reason. Alright. <laughs> Akatsuki sneaks in and yoinks the kill from the Vladivostok. Oh, man. So, Red's literally the furthest one up on the team. Friendly Kansas goes down. As well, so now Red's team's down three to the enemy team's two ships down, I believe, right now. Red is contesting the cap, so at least right now, the enemy team's only getting one cap worth of points every tick. Pops a smoke to stay unspotted from the Delaware, everyone's new favorite hybrid American battleship. It's planes. Uh, opens up on the Colorado. I mean, I mean, being contested, so, you know, it's not like getting hit's gonna take away his, uh, points or anything like that, so why not open up get a little bit of farm going on. Uh, let's take a missed first couple of shots. It's pretty hard to adjust with the American DD shells when you 
aren't zoomed in. Looks like he's... Oh, man, Vladivostok eats Shiryatsu Torps. Dang, so they're down four ships now to the enemy team's two ships. Dumps two more Torps out in the general direction of that Colorado. Um, so about half of them are going to get there. The other half are going to run to the island. Who knows, you might grab the Shiryatsu here. Delaware is very close. Okay, Rainbow Six this. Oh, man, this island, this island is such a pain. So many times in, like, ranked um, clan battles and stuff, there's an island coming clutch. Bismarck just coming in hot. Now, Bismarck does have a Hydroacoustic Search, so I'd imagine he would have a running about now. Goes out to 6 kilometers, so Red does the smart thing and gets out of there. There's about 50 seconds left on his torpedo, so he can't really do anything to the Bismarck right now, besides be a mild annoyance. Very close to the Bismarck here. Playing right on the edge, the Bismarck, thinking his... Depth charge planes will spot him. Ah, Kitakaze. Hello, that's not what you want to run into. <laughs> oh, man. Kitakaze is one of the most busted ships in the game because of its, well, its DPM and its excellent Japanese HE. And let's see. Red's tearing into him. Kitakaze is ignoring him for the time being. He lets the Bismarck secondary shipping in there. Kitakaze is down to 15-3. Red's at 14-4 right now. Still chewing into him. Is that the Kitakaze smoke? Kitakaze smoke is going up right now. Uh, someone else is also helping Red out with this fight. Ooh, Red's down to 10k. 9k now. He has stopped. Nope. Still firing again. Kitakaze. Man, God. That ship is that ship is scary. So, they're increasing the distance now. Bismarck. Uh, Secondaries took a little bit of a bite there out of Red. And Red manages to exit that trade with a fairly even trade. Uh, he managed to get the Kitakaze down to 7k. He's down to 7k. And... For a ship that had a you know almost 4,000 HP advantage there on red, that's not a bad, bad uh, engagement after all. So half of the friendly team's dead at this point. Well, five are dead. Almost half are dead. The enemy team, I, I think they're still maybe only down two ships, three ships, if that. Again, if only the HUD worked. Well, let's see. We can add it up. So two, three, four. So yeah, they still have um, at this point in time eight ships up. So oof. They're about even with ships at the time being, but the caps, not so much. They, they have, uh, shoot, over a 400-point lead at this point now. Red is still doing his best to try and support this cap, despite, well, no one really wanted to get up past the the H-line. Ah, uh, you gotta love it when players just sit in the back and decide, we don't really need the caps, do we? So again, dumping his torpedoes out in the general direction of the enemy team, smoking up. Doing a little farming action going on with the Bismarck here. What is that? Lo Yang. Lo Yang has entered the fray. Okay. Oh man, German battleships are always, always an excellent source of, of farming when you got the HEDPM like the Fletcher does. Oh, good thing he moved up there. Look at them torps. Those are those would be from what the um Shiatsu, Lo Yang, one of the blue the, the Lo Yang does have the normal torps, not the deep water torps. So he got a pin on the Bismarck. He's trying to get the superstructure. German battleships have such huge superstructures. The Germans built cities on them. Oh, he's gonna eat one. Is that gonna be enough? Not quite enough to get him out. Ah, but the flooding ticks over. That's Red's first kill of the match. So now the enemy and the friendlies are equal on points at this time. Well, um, there we go. <laughs> Equal in ships at this time. But naturally, just as Red gets something done, there we go. The Masashi, enemy Masashi takes out the friendly Minsk. So now the enemy team pretty much has the run of the, the map over there from the eastern side. They haven't even capped the A-cap. I mean, look, look at where they're at. They're uh, about 500 points ahead. They don't really need the A-cap. I still would. All right, friendly Riga gets the Shiatsuyu. Okay, okay, okay. So again... They're, they're about trading ships about equally, but, I mean, hey, you, you need the caps. That's what's keeping their team in, in, even in the fight now. I'm pretty sure they would have lost by now if it wasn't for the kills they managed to pick up. Red gets a nice little loving touch there from the FTG. And let's see what's going to happen here. Delaware, Colorado. Riga's very low on this flank. There's come some Torps. Okay, is the... Surely the FTG sees that, right? You're returning, right, buddy? Right, buddy? Oh, no, FDG. Please, no. Uh, he turned out. Took him a hot second to do it, but he turned out. He's going to eat two of them, man. 
Man, okay, my, my dudes, turn into Torps. You don't want to turn out. Um, especially when you see them coming from that far away, you want to turn into them. It gives you more... Ooh, the FTG did get the Kitakaze, though, so okay, okay. The FTG can have a couple of Torps at the tree if he gets the Kitakaze. And j just as they start clawing their way back up, someone else from the enemy team gets a kill as well. So the Niza now is dead out west. You have a Kyrosar just way the hell... Well, and... There goes the FDG. <laughs> oh, what? So, uh, Red did get a Torp hit there. Torp and a Flo What did he hit? Must be one of the DDs, huh? Uh, I'm surprised they didn't outright kill him. So now they're down to four ships on the friend friendly team. Then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down. Four ships on the enemy team. So, okay. Again, even with the ships, but the cap advantage is huge. They're, they're down by... Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> They're down by 700 points now. Oh. This is this is rough. All the enemy team has to do at this point is literally just live. They they could run and they 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 would win, I'm pretty sure. Um cuz what the Colorado's at pretty much full health and they have a Delaware that's I know's at full health. Masashi's at 13k, but it's a Masashi though. It's a really tough ship. Um that's um hmm. Although Red is seeming to... Attempting to rectify the situation here with his Fletcher. And the Musashi is healing as well. So he has swapped off his torpedo, swapped over his guns. Is he going to open water gun about the, the Musashi? That would be something. Because um, if he smokes up, it's going to go undetected. So he can't really do anything about that because he needs spotting. The Kearsarge is... You know, doesn't have planes, but he's on the other side of the map. Currently trying to deal with a Roma. Hipper, what? One second, Red. Let me just borrow your camera real quick. Hipper is half health. Okay. So, Red is... Oh, he is! He's opening up on the Musashi! And a Fletcher with 7k HP left. Okay. Granted, he's taking a pretty big risk here because the Luoyang could still be around. Okay, so he's smoking up now, but the Musashi can go undetected unless he fires. But, I mean, hey, you know, he's got to try and do something. Better than just sitting here doing nothing. 970 points. The enemy team is super close to to capping. They're, they're what? Three points a, a tick? They need 70 points. So that's like what? Uh, every three seconds. That's, I believe I'm a minute or two away from winning. So all the enemy team has to do is is just live at this point. Roma's at 16k. Look, he is just skirting the edge of this cap. So I'm surprised that Masashi hasn't even fired back yet, because even just, you know, splashes Red's Fletcher, that's all he has to do to... Someone's firing in from the left, probably the, the, the Loyang. Alright, so they're taking the cap, and I think, he, yeah, he's going to do it all. <laughs> Chad firing, even though he's exposed. Okay, so cool. Masashi at 13k solo cap, that's an easy 1k base XP right there. Another fire on the Musashi down to 13k. Shots coming in from the right, probably from the Loyang, or maybe even the Delaware. Alright, so they're 50 points away from winning. They gotta do something right now in order to make this happen. Half Elf Hipper. Okay, Roma's pretty low. The Kearsarge can deal with that, but the Musashi's moving in to deal with the Kearsarge. If the enemy team kills any of them right now, they win. They're 40 points away from winning. That there's a there's a healthy amount of baiting going on in the in the chat right now. Is he gonna open up on the Roma? Right on the edge of his range. Does he even have the range for that? Okay, cool. Kearsarge snags the Roma. So now they're down <laughs> still down by eight hundred points. <laughs> um But God, that, that Musashi's gonna be nasty to deal with. And then they still they still have three more ships to deal with at this point. Um Hipper is let me borrow your camera again, red. Hipper's at 9,000 HP. He's doing an excellent job of kiting. I mean, that's absolutely what you want to do in this situation. Kite and... Oh, Lo Yang. Lo Yang. Lo Yang. Lo Yang wants to fight. I don't know if the Lo Yang's HP is at, but he wants to fight. Oh, oh there is 7k. About the same HP. Let's go. Let's go, fellas. Okay, that's uh, 1,900. That is 1,100. Lo Yang dunked the shells in the water. Ooh, get some hits there. Down to 5k. Oh, goes undetected. Yeah, he, he can fish him out. Okay, Kearsarge got the Musashi. Excellent job, Kearsarge, there. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Is he going to find him? There we go. Nice, 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 nice. 
Okay, okay, so they're literally flying by the seat of their pants here, just living on borrowed time at this moment. And the enemy team will still win. So it's it's two on two on three right now. You got a low health hipper, a Fletcher at thirty nine hundred HP, almost full health Colorado, and what I'm sure is again a full health Delaware that they have to kill in four minutes. Kier Sarge has to somehow get over here and do something. Or Red's got to take these two guys out by himself and a Fletcher with 3,000 HP left. So, and, and again, look, look, look. <laughs> They're under 100 points from winning now. Oh, in four minutes. He's got, he's got four minutes to do something. Let's see what happens here. I'm pretty sure that Delaware's... At, yeah, look at that. Delaware's at full friggin' health. So again, all these two guys have to do is live. That's all they have to do. And Delaware has planes. Every two minutes, th this man gets planes. So let's see. Oh, oh, this is the guy that, that, that's been um, talking smack in chat, too. So, Red dumps two set of twerps at the Delaware. He's chugging back up north. Uh, probably trying to run out of the Delaware's planes. Because, I mean, shoot, the Delaware launches planes right now. He's going to spot Red, pretty much. So, let's see. How many of these twerps is he going to eat? Is he even going to eat these twerps? So, he's got a minute left on his twerps. Okay, Delaware's fighter has gone up. Oh, he's not turning. He's not turning. He's turning out. Oh, red. Oh, red. Oh, red. Okay. Okay. That's one. That's one. Three minutes to get to Colorado now, though. Okay. 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 Wow. Man. Oh, don't you love it when karma comes back around? But they still got to get to Colorado. Um, okay, Kyrgyz is on the other end of the map. And... He just watched his friend get eviscerated in front of him. <laughs> yeah, the Kyrgyz did just take, uh, what, 10k off of him? So, Red's doing the right thing. He's going over here, and he's grabbing the cap. But still, I don't think, even with three caps, I don't think they can get up to 900 points in two minutes. Um, can they? I don't think so. I mean, it's it, they'd be getting a lot of points every tick, but I don't think it's enough. Not in two minutes. Okay, so Red's Red has realized that too. What's he doing here? What you doing, Red? Oh, d dead man in chat, talking smack still. Should I say his autopilot or something? Okay, don't know what happened there, but all right, pretty map. All right, Colorado, so he's going to dev strike this Colorado to win. Is he going to do it? Let's see. He's got one minute, so he does not have time for his Torps to reload. He's, he's got he's to make this. He's got to make it. So, I would try to get as close to this man as possible to take him out. It's Colorado, too. Colorado is really maneuverable. The uh, American BBs from Colorado down have excellent maneuverability. They're not fast, but they, they, they can turn on their ass. One set. Two set. And the thing is, the Colorado has excellent torque protection, too. Here, see, here comes the Kearsarge. Keep in mind, the Kearsarge, too, his plane's going to come in. Dude's going to... He's going to maneuver. Oh, man, he's got to get back in cap, too, because look at this. They're, they're like, under 50 points away from winning. Granted, again, they're a minute away from winning now, too. Let's see. Oh, Colorado's turning in. Is he going to eat him? He's going to eat a few. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Two more. <laughs> Oh my god, talk about down to the minute, not even to the minute, down to the second. What the heck? That has to be one of the biggest comebacks in this game. Da down from 60 points. They had 60 points left on their team. And they pulled that out. Well, R Red pulled that out. The rest of the reason they won. Oh my lord. 
How, Red, how much XP did you... You didn't get enough XP for that, dude. You should have got at least... Ah, oh, man, that's the thing about this game. You don't really get XP for, like, what you really did. What is that, 2400? 2400 base XP. Really, Red, that should have been, like, a 3k base XP game for that, dude. Wow. Wow. So he, he got uh, 640,000 credits, 39,000 XP with his boosters and such. Uh, he did include his commander build here. Obviously, it worked. It worked one way or or another, but man, absolutely excellent game there, Red. That 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 was a joy to watch, dude. I didn't think you were gonna do it there at the end. Oh man, I kind of skimmed through his his email, so I kind of had an idea of what was going to go on. I didn't know it was gonna be this close. So guys. Let Red know what you think in the comments down below about that. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm trying to do maybe one of these live replay commentaries a week. I know that some of you guys say you really enjoy them. Some of you say you, you, you don't. I'm just try and bring a little more variety to the channel rather than just, you know, you know, top five list on Monday than talking about news and stuff throughout the week. Just, you know, a little, little, little spice here and there. So, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend as well. And if you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 50,000 subs, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. Again, hope to catch you guys in the next one.